Hello. Hey. We're still in the underground. Yes. Uh oh. Ooh. My little guy. Look at this little area up here. Wait a minute. The Balk. <laughs> the Balky. The Balk. Perfect balconies. Uh we aren't exactly where we left off because Full disclosure, we started recording an episode, and then we had a sound issue, so we just started over. You only lost about five minutes, and the only things that happened were we picked up the map for this area, which you can check out. Yeah. Boom. Uh, uh, uh. Siofra. Siomfra. You just threw an M in there? <laughs> <laughs> just fun to say. Siom. Siom. Also, we revealed that there is an item down here that we want to get. And you said it's boots of some kind? Yeah, they're like, you know, lower body item in this game. Or it's like they're, it's like boots and pants together. But mm -hmm. for us, I figure it could be like... I think they're like slightly better boots and pants than what we got. That's a, a trick for, for beginner beatboxing. It's to say boots and pants. Right. Right? Ted, well, try it out. Boots and pants, boots and pants, boots and pants. I was really boots hoping and pants, boots and pants, that, and boots and pants. that he would have just said boots and pants. <laughs> the best part about it is the pants. Pants. <laughs> Boots and pants. His pants. snare drum is, is pulled very <laughs> the tight. snare drum is him saying the word pants like <laughs> it's like Ernie from Bert and Ernie. Or Bert from Bert and Ernie. Oh. I always forget which one's oh. which. Bert from Gergen Journey. <laughs> Bert from Bert and Bergie. Boots and pants. Boots and pants. You say what's up to those crabs? Yeah, I really didn't mean to. I gotta turn that shit off. Hey, you assholes. Oh, shit. Yo. I'm, oh, wait, 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 wait. I see that shit. Hold on. You're if not going to glaze me like a donut. If I had invisibility, I would have done so much better on the ambush than what they just did. Right, right, right. Right. If my advantage oh. was that I could not fully be seen. Aren't you dead, love? Oh, my God. That's Dude, right. that is... Oh. That is crazy. Who's next? Yeah, you're stupid. It just stops them. I like these guys. Oh. Hey, man, we kind of take damage, don't we? Jesus. Yeah. That's because we're wearing, like, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get there, though. I'm interested to see what the armor rating of these new boots and pants is. Probably worse than what we have. Boots and pants and boots and pants. Nailed it. Boots and pants. You're ready for the club, bro. Pants. Oh, you can add a little, you can add a little, uh, a little uh, swagger in there if you put, just if you say the also. Go ahead. Got the boots and the pants. Okay. Say the pain. Say the boot. You're the doing pain. little triplets there? Yeah. I feel you. Little beat beatboxing basics. You can go for eights if you go like boots in the pets at the boots in the pets. You know? <laughs> yeah. Actually those are threes still too, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six. You're still on threes. Yeah, and you're also doing the Doctor Who theme song at that point. What is it? It goes how does that go? <laughs> Woo! That shit? Yeah. It's like that, yeah. There's also like a 60s version that's like got like a little band that's like doing some kind of like bang, you know, like like rock and roll version. And then it's like whoever I think it's like John Pertwee's like, I'm the doctor. It's pretty metal. Imagine being like, this would be hard. I think about that all the time. Hello. 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 I'll take that. <laughs> this poor Mario. He's got no hat. He's got no shirt. He's got no service. <laughs> but he's got a horn bow, baby. Mm -hmm. Which we'll never use. <laughs> Mario never used a projectile that he powered with his own twerk. Turk. Twerk. Twerk. <laughs> twerk. Help! Could you imagine if we, like, decided... If we had decided to just play as Link this playthrough? We would have had so many more options, but it would have been so much less funny. We would have been like, oh my god, just like in Breath of the Wild. Like, every time that we found anything. Yeah. That's my new SNL character, is a guy who's, like, really into finding treasure. <laughs> Hello there, my pretty! And then you make a whole <laughs> movie out of that. That's my... That's just, like, a really specific trope. Uh, what is that? You, okay. Is this just, like... You know what? That's Boy. the most Mario shit you've ever done in your life. Right. Boy. And then, what, you fall off to land in that other hole? I don't know how we're going to get there, but we're going to get there. I wonder if it goes around. Uh, I can make that. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is uh, a little scary. This is a little past mm. the point of no return. What is that from? Uh, who? 
<laughs> for my brain. Eight out of ten. Is that train. Eight out of ten odds. That's fan with opera. It sounded fan to me. To me, could be. And the fact that I picked up on that scares me could more be, than a little bit. Could be Les Mis. Mm. Ooh, that, which okay. was the other tape my mom had in her car. Your mom listened to like show tunes. Just like Les Mis and uh, Phantom of the Opera. Like for the most part, she was really into like the Turtles. <laughs> She doesn't oh, like man. Hook. When you said that, definitely thought Ninja Turtles for about a second and a half. I said, what? Did you say Hook? Yeah, didn't your mom not let you watch Hook? Oh, no, I just never watched Hook. I just never... Oh, I, the mm. one that my mom was... And my mom denied this the other day when I was talking to her about it. Uh, I think because she thought that I was trying to say that it, I turned out bad as a result. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I wasn't... There are to, much different reasons I for that. I was trying happened. to compliment her. I was trying to compliment her for like not letting me... Like, watch just lowest common denominator shit and, like, sometimes forcing me to, like, go rent my movies from the library or whatever instead of blockbuster video new releases or whatever. Uh, ooh. But it was the Care Bears that she didn't let me watch. Right. And so she denied that? She was like, yes. Yes, I did. She was like, if you wanted to watch it, I would have let you watch it. I just thought it was shit. And I'm like, yeah, but, like, you made me feel like a dumbass for watching it. Mm, and that was tight. Mm. So it's not that she didn't let you watch it. Is that when you expressed interest, she was like, stupid ass kid. I mean, okay, like, whatever you want to say, like, if you're a parent and you express your displeasure for something, I don't know, like, your kid wants to not do it. I guess I had... At a certain age, If yeah. I was, like, you know, 15, I probably would have, like, right, watched been like, if I wanted. Fuck yeah, Care Bears, Care Bears, I love them. Yeah, but at the time, I it felt like I shouldn't watch them because it made my mom disappointed. <laughs> So instead, I watched Logan's Run. I'd probably rather watch Logan's Run. Now, for sure. Hell, I'd probably rather watch Overdrawn at the Memory Bank. You remember that one? No. What is that? Raul Julia, early okay. in his career, so? sci-fi movie. Really not great. You know, like, they did it on Mystery Science Theater. That's how you know it's, like, not great. With Raul Julia? I'm telling you, man. What an interesting... That's, that's like, when we watched uh, Night of the Lepus. Oh yeah, with Jamie Lee Curtis and yeah. it was, and the the like romantic lead was DeForest Kelly. Mm-hmm. You're mm -hmm. like, huh? What yeah. What are you doing here, sir? Oh, what what are you doing here? What were you doing with those guys? Is this guy busting a Blair Witch just staring in the corner? Yeah, check it out, boars. Look at him. Cancel that motherfucker's attack. Jesus, he's got a really small head. What's up? Are you? Can get out of here. Mario's fucking people up. Uh, I'm just, I don't know. Oh, you fucked up too. I'm uneasy. Dude, the time it took him to like whip out a melee weapon, just all the time in the Dude. world that I needed. Yeah. He's like, okay, now I'm starting my book. Oh, no, no, okay, now I'm late. gonna grab my axe. Uh, too oh. late, brother. These guys popped out of the fucking Lord Bowser totification. Zap. Oh, the Devo Beam. Yeah. Right? The Devo Beam. Yeah, that's right. Boo -doo 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 -doo. I forgot Make that, that was head like, small! I forgot that's what they, like, the screenwriter who looked at Mario said was like, the dinosaurs are de-evolved. De we have to explain how, where the Goombas come from. We have to. Was I talking about, I think I was on stream the other day. I don't think it was here. Where I was like laughing at the latest Mortal Kombat movie, apparently feeling compelled like, the screenwriter felt compelled to, like, explain how come all these, like, video game fighting characters can, like, throw wild shit out of their hands. Like, they explain, like, it's like it's Arcana, you have to unlock it. And you don't know you, what's going to come out of your hands till you're 13 years old, kind of. Basically, yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I just think it's fun. I, fi I find it very funny that at some point, somebody was like, I have to, I have to explain this shit. You and, know like, I mean? some people, it's like a harpoon. Right! And some people it's like a fan. Some people it's an eye laser. Yeah. <laughs> or your arms get metal. Or you throw a futuristic police knife. Kano. Is that Striker? Oh, yeah. No, Kano, I think. Oh, okay. I, I see. It's like a... It looks like one of those, like... Like things like Striker has. What are those things called? Baton? Batons? Yeah. Like a police baton? But it's like a lightsaber version. Yeah, Kano did have weird knives. It's true. I feel like I missed a, um, when we were over here up north, I feel like I missed a, 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 a pyre. Did I? I I was not thinking about them. I will be just completely honest. I forgot that that was part of this. You okay, buddy? I was just so hype on thinking about Mortal Kombat. I was going to say, Kano looks like shit. Like, what do you mean? Like, look, I nowadays it's different because there's money and 
like a lot of people oh, working shit. on the game and like a whole you know he has a whole legacy Kano is the funniest character in the original Mortal Kombat by far because he's the most like mm -hmm. on a folder in your fifth grade class guy in the whole damn in the whole damn you're game. saying that his design seems like something that like anybody could come up with if they were just like like a teenager they took like a dude in like a martial arts outfit I believe like a sort of like Halloween store martial arts outfit and then they like drew mods on him like <laughs> MS paint style yeah, he has uh, like a Terminator faceplate. Yeah, red eye. That's about it. That's all he's got going on back yeah. then. And like they were like, he's like a ninja computer. And he's you're like, what? I, I don't know if Kano's a ninja computer. <laughs> I <laughs> like what is he? How did he end up like that? Isn't he like a bounty hunter? No, he's a gangster. He's, he's like a gangster. Yeah, not like, like a hammerhead. Not like a Bugsy Malone. No, like a. Like, he's, he's... There's some guys inside Alex's window. I think they want to weigh in on this whole Kano thing. Oh, God. I don't think they're going to come through on the mics. Oh, th oh shit. Oh, shit. Uh, am I about to die because of this silly shit? Hell hey, no. You got okay. five we're sips. Okay. He's like a uh, uh, like an arms dealer. But he got blown up by his own... I do not... I'm sure in the apocrypha of Mortal Kombat somewhere, a couple of people have told us, like, where he got his Terminator <laughs> eye from. I don't fucking remember. I don't give what a if, chance. What if Kano doesn't realize... That he is like a T series, like he just we don't. I, I don't believe in mirrors. I avoid them. Yeah, he's like I haven't looked in a mirror since 1980. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. And they were like, he's Australian. They didn't. This just the I don't know if it was the actor. I doubt it was the actor. I did think it was the director. Is, yeah. So the director was uh, maybe or maybe it was a screenwriter. I don't fucking know. Somewhere in that pipeline of that 1995 film, they were like. Uh, he's Australian. They were like, but we gotta have this guy, and he is Australian. Like like a Sandy, uh, Sandra D. Look at me, yeah. I'm Kano. Same uh, vibe, like, they were D. like, hey, know. this is my girlfriend that I met this summer. She's also from Australia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, I, I think it is a yes. It, it happens, man. Like, it happens all the time in comics. I'm sure you're keenly aware that, like... In comics? Yeah, yeah, like, comics and comics media, like, where somebody will add a wrinkle uh, in something outside of the original source material that will then get retconned into the source material, absorbed by it. Okay, yeah. yeah like, sure. uh, the other day, yesterday, I was talking about, like, Storm's... What is Storm's most iconic outfit to you? What do, what do you think? To me personally, or like, what do I think is the most recognizable storm outfit? The the latter. I think it's the white one with the hoops, with the, with like swoopy wing. Yeah, yeah. Jim Lee, right? Yeah, the fucking uh, the, the like one from the TV show one. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that outfit, I would agree. Marvel versus Capcom. <sighs> yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was everywhere, right? That outfit, it's it's white, right? Yeah, white and yellow. But if you, I don't know about yellow. Maybe like, gold. like some trim, maybe. Yeah. The X, the X, X yellow, whatever. But that outfit is like, is it white? Like, in my look, mind, if it you is. look at, obviously on the TV show it is. Yeah. And I think honestly that's why it seems white to everybody. But in the original comics where it showed up, it's a bit ambiguous. It could be. Like ambiguous, it, it, yeah. Like it could, Batman, like blue or black it, Batman. It could be like a a big white leather outfit that has some like little black highlights on it, right? Uh huh. Or it could be a big white leather outfit or a black leather outfit with a lot of white highlights on it. Oh. And like, if you look at the TV show, that is obviously not the case. Yeah, what I was I just gonna said. say like. But if you look at the original comics where it came from. This motherfucker looks like black leather not to a mention, lot of the time. Not to mention not to mention that like her other like maybe her other two or three candidates that she has for iconic outfits. Black. Though she has had many are all black. Yes, and, there's a, yeah. the uh, costume that she was rocking right before that white one we were talking about. The the one that's kind of like revealing on the body with the similar kind of No, 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 no. I'm talking about a different outfit. Like the one it looks it looks almost identical to the one that we were just talking about. Yeah. Except it has like a big lightning bolt design across the chest. Yes, yes. And it is un and it is unequivocally black. That's black. Yeah. So I just think that's funny that because of that TV show, 
and like other media like the tv show like whereas in the books because of like artistic liberties and stylistic implementation it's kind of vague a lot of the time like is this black or is this white right and then the tv show was the first thing that was like drew a line in the sand it is is fucking white and then everything after that was like okay white you know what i mean and that was rolled in the comics as well. It's I wonder just if it was just because it was like easier to see her or something, you know, and then they just decided, well, it looks kind of like it's white anyway. Uh, it's possible. That's so uh, weird. I never even thought of that, but you're so right. Like, like literally just, look up like yeah, yeah, very, Jim Lee yeah, like Storm. Jim Lee Storm. Like, I, I never thought of it as white be- or as black because I think I saw the show before First, I read the comics. Possible, yeah. yeah. Look like, the shit up, man. Just like Spider-Man. Go on. He... he uh... It was black and red with blue low lights. And Are people, you saying the original Spider-Man outfit was... Whoa, motherfucker got me. Are you saying the original Spider-Man outfit is black? Yeah. Are you sure? Like Batman? I mean, it's like the ambiguous thing you're you're talking about. I see. I see. Like, they use blue to denote, like, Blackness, low, yeah. l- low, yep. uh, low shading. Or dark yeah, shading. So we're looking light. at Storm right now on his phone. Looking at a you panel. see how that could be black? I, like... And to lend weight to it, right? Like, we're looking at... <sighs> Like Archangel, like Age of Apocalypse era, Colossus and Beast, and they are all in the same frame together with Storm. Storm admittedly is in the foreground, but like the highlights that are on the other people, like on all their muscles and stuff, are much lighter than Storm's like deep, like almost like g- like like Hellboy esque like black highlights. Like look at this picture right here. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, it was ambiguous for a long time. I remember that. I think maybe it's like Fuck. not black, but like sort of like an iridescent black. I th- it was ambiguous for a long yeah. time, and then the TV show was like, "It's white, bro." Yeah, it's white. Shut up. I'm like, all right, fair yeah. enough. It's just like black with low blue low lights. hundred percent. That a hundred percent. That's so I'm looking at that that picture of like Amazing Fantasy 15. Yeah, that shit looks blue to me. Like. That lo- I, I will agree that there is some ambiguity. I think there is less ambiguity within the storm situation. Mm. What, about, what about Batman? Which one? Which has which Batman one? ever been blue? I see what you're saying. I think so because that's like s- right in the actual art is unequivocally drawn with actual all blue. Oh, he's ink. alive! Fuck, I thought he died. Sorry. Um, like in the I era th- when he had the like sp- sp- particularly pointy ears in the '90s, he's like almost always drawn blue, and even a little bit before that, like. Chuck Dixon, like, uh, what's his name era, uh, guy just passed away, Neil Adams. Yeah, the Neil Adams, Denny O'Neill shit, like, uh, I I think it was somewhat ambiguous at a certain point, but I think, you know, in, in uh, it's been canonized because now people have drawn lines in the sand and we've literally seen, we've seen, like, both outfits in a case next to each other. And right, it's blue, like something gray, something black, and then the one that's fucking blue from the seventies. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I but think, I felt yeah. Like, but I felt like maybe in the moment it was maybe black. Right. I agree. Yeah. What I'm saying is, I think the most important, I think the most important part of what you just said is the word maybe. Like, yes, it could have been the stylistic choice where it's actually black, but to us it appears blue. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think you're absolutely right. And but you know what else is very important. Uh, octop- Oh, hey, hey. Octopuses? Octopuses who spend their disposable income at patreon.com slash superbeardbros and uh, support one of the most punk rock Let's Play shows out there. We don't give a shit about the algorithm. We give a shit about you, the living, breathing humans who watch our show. And we want to give you the opportunity to support us rather than us changing the soul of our show to appease advertisers that we'll never meet. Please, yeah. please support Alex throwing away his old three-inch diameter hold socks. Listen, Ted saw the bottom of my sock on accident, and I walked outside to help him with my inside socks on. <laughs> Is that real? Now there's a big hole in the bottom of my sock that I didn't know about. Is that when Ted like it's felt huge. bad for a second? I was like, it's huge. Oh, he needs Ted, help. Ted realized that I'm a Huckleberry Finn-esque vagabond uh, yeah. uh, today. I wonder what that what character that makes me. <laughs> you? Yeah. Uh, you're uh, Miss. Uh, you're uh, Miss. Uh, <laughs> Miss, what's her name? Miss Hannigan? Uh, yeah, yeah. The, well, yeah, Miss, Miss Hannigan. Miss Hannigan, that's right. <laughs> yeah. I have a bunch of orphans, that's right. <laughs> uh, Tom Sawyer, that's who you are. Real talk. Ha ha, painting that fence. Thank you guys for watching. Sure is easy. I hope you guys are enjoying. Thank you. Come paint a fence with us at patreon.com slash superbeardbros. 
Dude, I feel like an exterminator over here. Can you imagine if you had a like a pest problem in your home in your home? <laughs> and you and you called a man up and he rolled up with like a big truck and then he, he, didn't, take, he didn't take anything out of the truck. <laughs> He took his shirt off, oiled up, and goes he would under not, your house. He would not be coming in my house. Dude. <laughs> under my house? Maybe. Just like disappears under the porch for like 45 minutes, comes back out. And, and he like, goes, okay. Yeah, it's all gone. What do you mean? It's like, are they taking it? Oh, yeah. Uh, medio, medio. What? what I'm sorry? Uh, Calimario. <laughs> and he would do such a good job. Yeah. He comes out with like... Like uh, calamari and red sauce, like ready to go with some like oh. some nice pasta. Listen, man, I understand what calamari is. I understand where it comes from. If you went under my house <laughs> and brought out the most beautiful, <laughs> steaming, delicious plate of calamari, I'm not touching it. No, shouldn't come from there. If you okay, does it, so okay. How much about what you eat? Is affected by the grossness of the creature that, like, like a squid is gross, right? Like, compared Gambit. to a human, it doesn't resemble us in a lot of ways. It's slimy. It shoots ink out of you. At, at, so, by gross, like you mean like alienness? Yeah, I, I feel like more people than don't think that squids are kind of like, at least in America, maybe not in maybe not in like other countries where they're a little bit more cute in media depicted. Sure. But oh my God, he's alive again! I think in America, a squid is seen as pretty gross. It's alive. It's a little alien. Yeah. yeah, and a lot of people do eat calamari, but you know, like some people would see a squid and be like that, and like even if it was a delicious crispy fried ring of, you know, sweet succulent meat that's dippable in marinara. If you're sauce. asking me like how adventurous am I when it comes to shit that looks weird, will I eat it? Like when it looks weird while alive, right? Obviously, it's a challenge to uh -huh. eat food that looks weird in front of you. Like if you had some kind of like. You know, chicken asshole that you never had before or something, and you got to eat it, and it looks weird. But just something that looks delicious, just the knowledge that it's from something that you think is weird. I'm an adventurous guy, I think, when it comes to putting stuff in my mouth. Uh, Ew. I th I'll try just about anything once, you know? Oh, God, oh, here we not go. not this room, though. Let's oh, just... you know what? We got fire. Yeah, and you know what? You have that other mark, right? Mark? A uh, seal, sorry. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we switch seals. I'm interested to see how it puts damage on these guys. I love when these guys do their thing they look like they're headbanging. Yeah. They're like a little too alive for me. Like, yeah, yeah, alive. yeah. Fucking Watch poison, out. man. Poison. Oh. Dude, Ted loves that shit. Beat the shit out of a flower. Fuck invasion of the body snatchers. Four hits. Okay. It's just about time. How many hits do you oh, think it would take you to render that flower like unable to be alive anymore? Dude, so many. Like, it, it would be, I'd, we'd be here forever. Even the little one, like, like your your own actual self, like in real life. Yeah, like, I can't punch very hard. I think I can fuck that guy up in like three hits. <laughs> I think I can kill that plant in three hits, Bob. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. But it does po it does have poisonous a uh, poisonous cloud? Mm. Yes, right. Even if it didn't, man, like I can't. Oh, look at that! Give me. Oh, can I buy a flamethrower? No, you can't buy. <laughs> no. Where are you? The fucking are you at Home Depot when you f run into this flower? Yeah. Do they sell flamethrowers at Home Depot? They should. For any reason? Aren't there like Elon Musk flamethrowers or something? What does that even mean? He did. He did have a company that he made a flamethrower, uh, and then a bunch of people bought him. You know what's funny? I don't know if I've ever said this out loud. <laughs> I've never done it out loud, but I want people to understand that. If you were ever one of the people out there that at one point in the past were like, Elon Musk is a genius. Uh-huh. And he's gonna lead us into the future. Uh-huh. I am I am pointing and laughing at you inside. Like <laughs> I think it is very funny. You just want to take a second to to dunk on Elon Musk? No, I'm not dunking on Elon Musk. I think he does that to himself enough. I <laughs> I I'm not I I don't think I'm dunking I don't want to dunk on anybody yeah yeah that's why I don't say this shit out loud right but I but internally when it started to become clear like what kind of a dude he was yeah you know me I'm a big skeptic right and it's that's not to say that I don't believe in nothing I'm just a big fan of like take your time analyze vet double check right so when shit comes out about like who he really is 
<laughs> it just makes me funny that motherfuckers were real early on like, God bless you, Elon! <laughs> you know? His, his, it's so funny because it's a very similar kind of vibe to like, reading a list of features or like reading reading the wikipedia of a story and getting mad at what happens in the story what do you mean versus like okay like let's say like you read like you're not gonna watch like some marvel movie right like some whatever movie like moon knight or whatever i don't know blade you're not gonna probably watch that you're probably not gonna like excitedly go watch that but if you go read the uh wikipedia you can kind of like see the plot points of the movie and understand what, like, occurred in the movie, right? Okay. Uh, in the greater storyline of the Marvel Universe. Um, and then people go and they, like, get mad at that, like, or they see, like, an onset photo that, like, hints at, like, a certain plot point maybe occurring in the movie. Are you talking about people, like, building a narrative in their own heads based off of very, like, uh, incomplete information? Uh, sort of. Like, more like, more like Elon Musk on paper is Tony Stark, right? Like, if you just if you just explain, like, a list of features of Elon Musk, like, bil billionaire... Yeah, yeah, bullet points, face value. Yeah, like, versus just taking, like, two seconds mm -hmm. to look at the guy, mm -hmm. talk to him, mm -hmm. interact with him in some way, watch an, any interview with him, understand anything about him, base any piece of your opinion on him about, like, your own life experience. And Do some research, empirical evidence. He's just so easily clocked. To me, like, I don't know, like, I never was, like, surprised to find out a single piece of information about Elon Musk. <laughs> I think I think the whole situation is hilarious, man. Oh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hey, dear. Uh, hey, de hey, hey, oh, dear, I have to tell you. Uh, uh, oh, did you hear? You? Did I ever tell you about the time that I saved Mushroom Kingdom? <laughs> I don't Give think this deer knows how to escape. It's really a funny story. I, I, started, I started in the 80s. Uh, <laughs> anyway, all these people got stuck in the blocks. and uh, They had the Devo gun. Yeah. <laughs> they had the devolution gun. <laughs> Next time I'm beer pros, <laughs> I might let this deer out. I think it can leave. That's why I'm not moving. It can go over there if it wanted What's to. That? What'd you say? I like that it occasionally goes, ah! <laughs> So first, uh, huh? I talk to Princess what? Daisy. She's in the game. you say my name? Are you being the deer right yeah. now? Okay, got it. Got it. What'd you say? <laughs> Do you have one more thing for me? The fact that the head slowly, like, turns to you every time it stops <laughs> is so funny. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. What hunting season is it? Uh. We'll see you guys next time. Hello, guys. Uh -huh. Oh.